Welcome back to another Corona Chronicle. We're still asking this question, who is Jesus? And every time we ask it, we see another amazing angle of who he is, mm. who he actually is, not who people think he is, or definitely not who the Pharisees thought he was. So I'm going to be reading from uh, chapter three now, verse one. Another time Jesus went into the synagogue and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, stand up in front of everyone. Then Jesus asked them, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and, deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. There it is again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there it is again. Um, that last verse, you know, that that's another meme right there. You know, um, w when we read that earlier, um, I just had uh, pictures of this time it's uh, Will Ferrell or, or Ron Burgundy, as he's known in, in that film, The Anchorman. Mm -hmm. And, and it's that that escalated quickly, you know. <laughs> yeah, it did. I, I mean, it's just it's incredible, isn't it? That last, what on earth has Jesus done yeah. to deserve <laughs> the Pharisees going out with their arch enemies, the Herodians? I mean, they hated them, yeah, right? And they, you know, what's that saying? You're the enemy of my enemy is my friend, sort of thing. Right? Is yeah. that a saying? Where it is it's, now? But it's a you know, it's it. it they they're going to kill Jesus. Yeah. For what? Yeah. For what? Yeah. Um, you know, Jesus goes to church here, yeah. right? Uh, he's in the synagogue, and uh, and and he he knows that they're watching him closely, um, and and you know, what would, would he would he break the rules? Would he, you know, again they got their lists out, yeah, and yet naughty Jesus, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, he's 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 only gone and healed someone, yeah. you know, like what. Yeah. You know, I wonder whether they planted this man in here, you know, because they, they're yeah. looking for a reason to, it says in verse two, some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. Yeah. And, you know, e either this is a fortuitous event, they're licking their lips going, oh, yeah. there's, a, there's a sick man here. Yeah. Maybe Jesus will heal. Or they've gone, you sick man. Well, e either way, you know, yeah. they, they, they're, they're delighted that there's a reason for Jesus yeah. to break the Sabbath. Absolutely. Their eyes again. Yeah. And Jesus is like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hide who I am. No. I'm not, you know, I've, I've come to do business here. And yeah. I'm not who you think I am, you know, no. like, um, you know, and so he says, stand up in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and then, he, you know, I just think Jesus knows exactly what's going to happen next. Yes. He knows they've already, they're already yeah. looking at him. Yeah. And the next thing, the next step they're going to do is they're going to, they're going to start plotting to kill him. Yeah. And so he asks this bombshell of a question, which is lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill. Yeah. Uh, but they rem they remain silent, and, and by their silence, you know they they, they they sort of prove their guilt, really. Yeah. You know, but but it, you know, and, and look at, look at his response. He looked around at them in anger mm. and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, and said to the man, "Stretch out your hand." And 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 it's completely restored when he when he stretches it. I mean, you think you know the, the, the Pharisees might say, "You put your hand out and smack it." You know, that's yeah. What, that's, that's what the Pharisees hand. Yeah, that's what the look Pharisees at, look would do. Look how sinful you are. That yeah. Your hand is yeah. shriveled. Well, you know, especially because like they would be they would be saying, "Well, what? what, what why did you have a shriveled hand? Yeah, Where have you put your hands? What have you done? Have you, do, have you been doing bad things with your hands? Yeah. You know, like you you filthy sinner. Like, yeah. And and Jesus, is, he you know, he's come to he's. He's come, you know. That's what they say to the blind man yeah, later on. They yeah. say you were steeped in sin yeah, yeah. from birth. That's right. Yeah, you know yeah. that's why you were blind. But Jesus came for sinners. Yes, we already seen <laughs> that. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. the, you're missing the point. You're, yeah. you've, you've, t you because you just, you just made your little laws mm. into, you know, like your your little medals, your badges of honor. Your, you, you know, you love to polish them because you think yeah. that's what makes you right with God. Yeah. Um, you know, but but Jesus is here to say, no, look, all you need is a shriveled is to is to, you know, be willing to stretch out your shriveled hand. Yeah. Your shriveled little heart. Your yeah. you know like and that's what he's trying to do by asking them in verse four, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to yeah. save life or to kill. As you, you pointed out earlier, he's 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 totally exposing them there. Yeah. Because we go on to see in verse six, as you said, that 
they they go out and begin to plot how they might kill Jesus. Yeah, so yeah. actually, Jesus Jesus is speaking to them. He says, "What's better? Yeah. What I'm doing, I'm bringing life, I'm bringing healing, I'm bringing restoration. Yeah. Or yeah. what you're doing, which is what the Sabbath healing. is all about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Again, re- restoration, reconnection with God. But they remain silent, and yeah. that I mean, that 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 is a distressing thing, isn't it? Yeah. When when you when you point people out their sin. Yeah. And you you try and show them, and you even hold up a mirror, and you yeah. say, "Look what you're being like," yeah. and they remain stubborn. Yes, yeah. that's, that's just you know we know it, we know it ourselves, don't we? You know, yeah. like we we know when we're quiet. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, like sometimes we can, you know, we it can be because we're guilty, you know. Mm. Um, uh, but you know, I think just this is a an excellent little passage to to think about where you are. Mm. You know, um, what what do you think it, you need to do to to become a follower of Jesus, um, and, and who? What are you going to do with him? What are you going to do with Jesus? Are you are you going to be? Are you going to see yourself in the sh- the man with the shriveled hand mm-hmm. and sh- and listen to Jesus and yeah. and stretch out for help? Yes. Or are you going to are you going to double down, keep quiet? Yeah. And and you know end up killing him in your heart? Yeah. Because there's only your rejection. There's two responses yeah. to Jesus. Really. Yeah. I mean. There are two two men here, well, two groups of people. Yeah. One with the shriveled hand, and they know they have a shriveled hand, and they are obedient to Jesus yeah. when he says, stretch out your hand yeah. and do it. They believe him. Or the people with the shriveled hearts yeah. who 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 just want to kill him. Yeah. So which one are you, yeah. I guess? See you next time. Yeah.